and they wanted to achieve that by just like standing next to him oh so his his stuff is like all that painting and everything Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of, of a common power grab. So PO3 has a power grab plot as well. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. I urge you to consider. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um, what's over here? I assume another... Well, that's not what I expected. Looks like he tried to paint himself, maybe. There's the tentacle stuff going on in there. That's weird. Didn't do anything there. All right, I guess I'll approach him and see what happens. Ah, you're here at last. How did my pupils fare? No matter. They are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves with a terrifying mastery. My eyes ache with premonitions. The future is very, very grim. First, we must battle. Oh, so I can just walk up to him and fight? I thought there was going to be more to it. Magix, that's what his name is. That's his scribe power. The scribe of beast. What was the one? The Scribe of Technology, Scribe of the Dead, and the Brush of the Scribe of Magics. Like, Scribe of Magics is this dude? If... Ooh, dude's down there dancing. Ooh, no. This one needs some bleach? That's my cart, though. Oh, he stole my sigil. What the fuck is that? Oh, is he gonna fucking mark all of my cards? I'm gonna lose my shit. I have to sit here and watch him do this every time I draw cards. Not even that he's doing it, just the fact that I have to watch him do it. But I, but I don't have the sentry ability anymore. So this is kind of shitty now. I mean, this card's fine because it deals damage. All these need a Mox card on the board, and he has this level 9 Mox card with him. Alright. Okay, so you won't fuck up Mox cards. So I might have to switch to a Mox deck so he won't fuck up my shit while I'm trying to play. That way I can at least build a deck that I can actually work with. But it's still kind of useless, all the cards that I have. to take out three of the cards oops sorry why'd i say sorry to, fuck it whatever anyways oh it doesn't have the ability to hit all the cards at once anymore great perfect love that i'll go ahead and just make a new hand real quick out of those magic cards uh So it has to have a Mox Sigil. Great. All right, cool. The cost doesn't matter. And I think we're going to win on this next turn. Well, at least we're going to take out the first round on this next turn. Hopefully we can get this fucking brush out of his hand. I should have brought some cards to be sacrificed and summoned. Though. I didn't realize that I would end up with so many goddamn rabbits. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. So he's not gonna hit my stuff anymore. It's basically what it sounds like.
And every time he does something, it's going to give him stuff too. I increase his cards, but I think he loses now. And that deals damage back to me. Cool. So I still win. All right, that was a lot better once I understood how to beat him. But let's see what happens now, because also when I ended up looking up the game, I found out this is actually I'm not even going to say that. that it's spoiled for me, but not for y'all. Very well, we have battled and now I may speak, you see. My eye, it aches because it remembers. It was excised by none other than Leshy, the scribe of beast. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of- Oops, uh, whatever he was saying I didn't get, kind of glitched out. I feel like he just got snapped out of existence though. But now I do need to remake my hand real quick. Right, because everything over here is floating and I can't go anywhere else, I don't think. Uh, to be honest, after playing everybody or playing against everyone, I think the hand that I'm most interested in might be the last dude I fought. Uh, what's his name? Magnificus, just because it's interesting, but I actually don't like that hand. Everything, everything about PO3 I liked. I liked the way his battle went. It was interesting, different. Everybody else's battle was just like, either they just did something special that fucked with your cards, or their cards were just better, kind of. I guess, I don't know. It's really just it's stuff to fuck with your card, which is like, okay, cool, you're going to beat me, but you're not really, it's not really, if I'm losing, it's not, I don't feel like I'm losing because this, my hand is bad, or... The opponent is better i feel like i'm losing because the opponent can just change my cards you know but the last card you can kind of cancel anyways i'm still gonna do with the same person that's really what i'm explaining that's a move yeah same thing that happened that time at uh at the end of the first like big boss battle i guess replace po3 and become the scribe of technology the other's eyes did light up <laughs> sucker. Oh, you actually picked me. Great. I can skip past the part where they whined me. Let's get with this over with. I've got some big plans yeah, to make. Yeah, he definitely sounded like he was onto something. Or like the, what is it? Magnificent suspected something of him. He turn, is he turning himself into a Suppose card? the bat of the scribe that you picked. But like this, like a powered up version of the finale. This is going to be different. What does he mean it's going to be different? It's going to throw. It definitely sounds like he's going to throw because he wants me to win. I don't like what they're doing with the music now. Too much distortion. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Something to deal some damage is really what I need. Oh, wait, no, no, I don't. Not yet, at least. It's not necessary. The fuck is that? I'll just leave this here. Oh. You gotta give it to that treasure. That is useless in our dark. Ah, this is the card he fucking made. I never did see it, huh? Anyways, I'm just... Do I break the card in front of it to see what happens? Or do I just wait? Let's, let's just hit it and see. Oh, 98. That's the ticket. Okay. Can we, uh, can we, uh, get past this? Because this is, this is lasting too long. Oh shit, look at him. Oh, he's really going for it, huh? Yeah. 
well, I guess the robot would be the one to break out of the technology simulation. Balance of power. That's the name of the achievement I got. I forgot I can't see it when I record in OBS. All right. Back to the original animation style. All right. We can start? Okay. What are we starting on? You wanted to replace me. Look at us now. Oh, fuck. It's... Okay. Uh, this is... This is Batovia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, Uber bots. That's right. And you gotta get out there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? okay so we're in what looks to be the... What the fuck? Okay, energy bot to shield bot. Okay, this feels like a combination of the last two versions now. Double gunner's definitely... Uh, it looks like they raised the price. The fuck? Oh. Okay. So this is like, so what it looks like this is kind of turned into is. Uh, it looks like what it's turned into is like the robots version of inscription, kind of like how the first version of the game we played was Leshy's version and now we're on PO3's version. Oops. Okay, let's see how this fights out. Yeah, this definitely just looks like PO3's version. And we have more lanes. Interesting. So we can back away. It looks like these are our cards. And we have to go based on our energy now. So this plays more... Well, I guess... Well, I don't know if anyone's heard of it. But a game called Stormbound that I play on my... It's a mobile game. Let's see. 79 is going to go there. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know what this this would be. I guess the rest of my deck. A uh, sniper, you may choose which opponent, which opposing space a card bearing the sigil strikes. I don't have enough. Oh, it's only second turn. Okay. What is the empty? Oh, I guess it's just a card to do stuff. Take that out. That way it blows up everything over there. Oh. Hmm. At a certain point, I literally won't be able to win. What is this? The first time a card bearing the sigil would take damage, prevent that damage. We'll have this flying creature overhead now that's going to be more of an issue. I mean, at this point, I don't think we can lose now. All right, so we're on our way back around. He says we have to do the Great Transcendence, but doesn't explain what that is. We're really where we need to go, because this is just straight line. The best defense? Other bots. You carry a spark deck here. Uh, we activate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know? Then they fight for you. Okay, so that's how we're going to gain cards. 
swap bot, sentry drone, and shield bot. I kind of like shield bots, but I like the sentry drones a little better. Uh, that's back the way we came, so I guess we'll go this way. Just lying some of the most OP items just lying around. You charge energy for one turn. If you are smart, you'll use the items of running. You'll replenish them at waypoints, obviously. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else here. Let me backtrack a little bit and just make sure they didn't add any hidden secrets or something. Didn't look like they added anything, so let's check this out. We already have a broken bot. Looks like it's going to blow up too. Uh, when a car bearing this sigil dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. Great. What do you have something coming in at? It's going to survive the first hit, actually. Ah, that needs two, huh? Put this down over here. These are just defense cards, it seems like. Um, if I do that, it'll clear my side and not kill that card. This will be fine though. I feel like this is going to be, do more good than bad. I also like how it puts that holographic gun on top, too. Oh, it killed itself, dumbass. All right. This will kill that dude, right? Yeah. At this point, it's pretty much the first game, but on but like a completely it's like the first game, different bases. It's so weird. Uh, don't have enough energy for that. Um, I'll just grab a card. Oh, was it saying I need to grab a card? No, just don't have enough. Uh, we're just going with what we have. Oh, I shouldn't have put that down yet because I could uh no, I wouldn't have killed it, but I still would have been fine. Oh, well. Hopefully this gets a little bit more exciting because there's like no background music at all in this either. Another sniper card wouldn't be bad that I can hit stuff from a distance, but I need more early game stuff too. And this will protect from flying robots also. And well, just flying creatures in general. And I hate those. Uh, a real, the real best way to fight back those rogue bots. Oh, I can just tune them up. Okay, well. Let's take you because you're kind of not the best. I get to pick. Um, let's see. Well, if it's gonna have anything, it doesn't deal damage, so that'd be useless. And pushing isn't. It's gonna add to it. Yeah, add that to it. That'll be pretty good. Cool. All right, so that's how we upgrade stuff. So we got, we looked at upgrade and it's normal battling styles. We just have to see what other events can occur. Almost to a waypoint, don't show. So this is the first boss fight then. The fuck is that? Oh, is that supposed to be the railing on the road? That's pretty cool. I like what they're doing here so far. What's that? The creature opposing a card bearing this sigil gains one power. The creature opposing a card bearing this sigil gains one power. That doesn't seem right. The bridge rails can't be damaged because they go all the way across. 
So that's fine. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, none of these cards deal damage. Cool. The gunner would could only go best in the middle, but that's where my sentry gun is. Ooh, the sentry gun with that sigil would have been way better. Now I can keep putting it back down because a lot of times it's like, oh, I can't really do much with this just yet. Something like that. Or at least that's what hits me a lot. Okay. Well, this one's kind of done its thing already for us. Oh, I can't just take it off the board, huh? Can I? Oh, there's the hammer. Okay. Gonna put down this dude now. Start dealing that increased damage. Cool. Mm, maybe I should have. Can I not use the attack from that sniper? Uh, you made it to your first waypoint. Cool. Great. So what's that? A save point? Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. Uh, if any. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's an elegant system. When? Okay, more money. Oh, it's being like projected off his face, huh? That's pretty cool. I don't know why I started saying huh a lot. I caught myself saying it the last time I edited something, which was y like yesterday or two days ago. But I don't know where it came from. It's kind of shit. It's not the worst, but eh. Something that flies wouldn't be bad. Ooh, something that kills itself uh, or explodes. I'll say it like that. It shouldn't be bad either. Insect drone or explode bot. Explode bot deals damage back to me though, which I'm not, well, not really deals damage back, but inflicts damage to me as well. So let's try and avoid that a little bit. What you got? Ah, this is the lady from, uh, I don't know if it was a lady, the person from before he was fixing the bridge. The same thing as before going there. Okay, so this is clearly the trapper. Give me that fucking pelt. Um, nothing else going on here, huh? Eastern Botopia. Not much value this way. Nothing else special. Not a lot. Ooh. Can I go in any direction that doesn't have a wall? This one has a middle point. That looks like something, but I can't do anything with it. Okay, so now there's a fight that way. What is this? Vessel printer. Once a card bang, this sigil is struck. Draw a card from your empty vessel pile. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, let's see. So this is where we started. So we can sneak around this way. I don't know if going to the right is leading me to that direction's fight or what but we kind of snuck around it I guess it shows a lot more on the map but not everything can be interacted with this I kind of looks like you should be able to but it's fine now do I want to avoid this fight or still go into it is the only thing then we'll try and go around it just to see what happens. Maybe fight it on my way back out. Uh, let's see. A double gunner wouldn't be bad, but that's still too late in the game. I'll take a shield bot. They deal damage and do good defense. 
See, still on a bridge, so we have this again. Definitely take that out immediately. And I leave space in the middle for a... Uh, what is it? Double bot or whatever it's called to go down when it needs to. Immediately taken out. That's going to be annoying. And it's going to deal one damage a turn too. That's just going to fly over that. So that's not even in a good spot. Kind of a good thing though, because it forced us to wait until they're about to bring in another card. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Oh, he could break that for me. I might do that instead, actually. I forgot that thing actually does damage. This is going to wipe the board, but my thing is going to stay alive. Oh, it's just the adjacent tiles. I didn't even clear the whole thing. So maybe the one I had before would have been good. Uh, no, nah, because it still would have killed my cards. It just wouldn't have wiped as bad as I thought it would have. Do you have anything that deals more than one damage? This one flies over, so that's cool. It's that sigil. Uh, Swapper. After a card bang, this sigil is dealt damage. Swap its power and health. My power and health with the card that hits it. After a card bang, this sigil is dealt damage. Swap its power and health. It's still it. Um. I can just take that health away from it when on this turn right now. Right. Oh, I misread that. That's fine though, because it's still gonna die. That shield knight still did its job well. I have another one of those bots. Do I have another shield knight in my hand? I don't think so. A shield bot. Uh, that's five damage that's finna deal right now, right? No, that's five health it has now. So I'll wait one turn before I put that down, actually. Ah, but this one takes all of what I have. Okay. Watch this dude. He's finna say some shit about me using my thing, I think. No, no, he didn't. Cool. Oops. Bitch, got sniped. Although I did kill that, I guess, huh? It's gonna keep slowly kill well I'm gonna have to take two turns to kill this, but I wanna allow you to play okay cool, whatever. If I had a card that had the uh counter sigil, that would be nice. Any more cards that deal damage is the issue right now, because now I'm relying on one damage a turn to win. We're already right there, but still. I guess if I wanted to, I could take out the side pieces. Oh, items are charged to 100%. Bot spawner 100% offline. Interesting. What's happening? So let me get up if I go get new batteries. All right.
All right, I'm definitely not going straight there. What the fuck is in here? Print progress, 0%. Ah, uh, okay, the, the printer is offline, they said. If I can get it to work though, it looks like I get this card, which wouldn't be too bad. Dude looks thoroughly distant, like, unenthused. Like, he just doesn't, he looks like, he kinda has like the blank face from a uh, family guy or what you call it? What's the other one that's not Family Guy, but he has like a huge chin instead? Fucking, uh, uh, I keep almost saying Family Guy. It's on the tip of my tongue. I got it. Dude's name is Stan. Fucking, come on. <laughs> uh, uh, American Dad. There it is. Oh, I can't really get this one right now, so I'm gonna move away from it. I've been looking at it for probably too long. Uh, is there something right here? What's this? Mighty Leap. Is this just not in in the deck or something? Like, what is what is it there for? After what things turned off? Rotate the sigil until it's upright. Okay. Uh, cameras on us. Cool. All right. Select all squirrel. Collect all squares that contain cards. Oops. Collect all squares that contain cards. That's not a card. Yeah, that, cause that's the baseboard. Those are cards. Uh, still ones that contain cards. I don't know if there's a hidden secret inside of these ones that don't contain images. But there's a lot more exploring into the room and area here. Ishbot? Okay, cool. So now I have other cards helping me out. I can't even see what this is for real. I don't know. Hopefully I can. Don't know what that was either. I guess that's the spare battery we needed to get. I'm kind of lost. There we go. I wasn't able to figure this out. I don't know how these work anyways. I'm hella close. I feel like get out of here. Oops, past the table. There's no other thing I can interact with right here. Yep, thanks. All right, cool. Okay, so that's the headquarters. Let me explore a little bit more before I end this video. Watch my ankles. All right. Can't do anything here yet. So I really just got to check out this fight. Okay. So that's the tactical. Okay. So that's the tactical clear. There's more stuff going on in the area to find that. There's more cards I need to find basically. What is that? When a card bearing this sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the nano armor sigil. So then I want to take out that bot first. He has an enhanced that card too. Is this one? Once a card bearing this sigil struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. Oh damn, I only have two energy, huh?
and gets a uh, gift bear. When card bearing this sigil perishes, a random card is created in your hand. That's that might be a little better. How much damage does it do? One. Yes, you are bait. Uh, I wouldn't use you any other way, to be honest. Looking a little rough. Looking a little rough. Although this should be able to get us out of it. Although I think. Oh wait, no, that was perfect timing. Um, shit. Oh, okay. I don't know what just happened. Or why I gained extra lives, or where it's gonna. Oh no. Okay, if I lose another life, I'm dead. Or take another hit without dealing damage back, I'm dead. All right, cool. Turn that all the way back around. How much damage did I just do? Did I do enough to win? Four, five, six. That's not going to be enough to kill that anyways, though. So let's just take the extra money. Yeah. Are you wondering about that star? Bouncy on your head. It sure to attract bouncy oh, that's hunters. cool. It is that's when you die so now bouncy hunters. This is kind of something I saw someone talking about on TikTok with D&D, &D, where as your characters get more popular or keep winning, basically people are going to learn about them. Bounties are going to be placed on them. Take them out, basically. Like, more stuff to fight. I was going to do that on my own because it, it makes sense. <laughs> Because every time you do a D&D &D campaign, or at least most of the time, your characters are supposed to become well-known and popular. So it only makes sense that people start trying to take out the well-known and popular. I could use my sentry to take out theirs. And then those two cards, the, uh, uh, what is that, Exoskeleton? I think that's how it's pronouncing it. Would kill itself, basically, on the next turn. I'd just have to fight back from that four damage I'd be taking immediately. Oh wait, no, yeah, I'd have to fight back from it. Perfect, okay, cool, great. The fuck is this? Clay Von Bolt. And I'll be taking that scalp or scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kid. Uh, great. This dude's doing five damage. No, doing three, three damage. That's more doable, I guess, but still. I'm gonna let him come in and do damage normally. Yeah, I think so. I really kind of have to. Do some damage to them first. Oh, I needed to do that damage too. I'm glad I did. If I didn't deal that damage, I definitely would have lost. This will block that hit actually instead of just instead of trying to kill it right now. And actually, I want to deal two hits to this. Okay, that card's going to hit me next turn and kill. That's going to wipe this card out. That's the only card that's coming in, and it's going to take damage this turn, too. And it's going to kill itself after. What does this one do? When a car bearing this sigil perishes. It's not going to perish in front of that. I want to hit that just to kill it. But I already don't have enough health.
And that one's gonna fly over too. And I need to deal some sort of damage. Put this down now, and that'll defend from the next attack. And that kills that. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't seen the last, like, Clane Von Bolt. And take that out. Cool. Uh, ooh, shit, I was supposed to deal one damage. I'm gonna die. All right. Forgot that I was supposed to deal the damage to survive, not just because. Damn, I didn't get to spend that money either. Boom, all your money is gone. Great work. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's not bad, and I'm fine with that reset. Oh yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But that's gonna be all for the video. Uh, I'm liking where the game's going. I like how it revisited the original play style, except for different, like, scribe running it basically i do enjoy this part of it especially because i like to display style better than the pixel like link meets pokemon type play style uh anyways thanks for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe all this stuff helps me grow the channel probably said at the beginning but i've recorded like five no three like 45 minute videos today so well at least 45 minutes of recording a lot of it gets cut out now but anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one Oh, let me actually close the game now. Last time I recorded, I forgot to close the game. I left it completely open. But now I'm really out of here, so I'll see you next time.